How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I found this very cool resource which allows you to download free transitions for Premiere Pro, uh, which makes your footage look like this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm showing you where you can download these transitions and how to use them. It's really, really simple, very, very, very easy to do. First things first is we go to a website called mixkit.co. So when you open it up, it gives you some awesome stock video clips, stock music, sound effects, video templates, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to templates at the top here and click on Premiere Pro. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at transitions for Premiere Pro. So I click on transitions at the top, and what I've already done is I've downloaded a whole bunch of these, but you can see that they've got some pretty sweet ones. Um, I mean, for free transitions, these are great. So you're checking that out, but let's get into Premiere Pro and I'll show you the ones that I've downloaded already. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put all of your footage into the timeline, and then you go to your downloaded clips. And it's gonna open up this transition for me. Five hours later. Okay, so this one's open up, and if we play through it, you can see what it looks like. It's basically the, the preview that it gives you on the website. On top, these yellow blocks, these are all of the, the transition effects that have been put onto the clips. And at the bottom here are the two clips and they're just duplicated so it happens twice. This one is really, really easy. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these transition effects, all the yellow blocks, drag them over to my files and pop them on top, more or less where my, my two clips meet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off that first part so it's not so long and where the, the first clip ends and the next clip starts what I'm going to do is line up zoom in nice and close so you can see what I'm talking about here I'm going to line these blocks up because this is where the transition happens in that moment right there as the transition uh, finishes and begins on the next clip I'm matching uh, those two blocks lines up I don't know if I'm making sense just follow along uh, you'll get it. And what that's going to do is when I play the two clips together, make this a little bigger so that you can see, I hit play, and it transitions from one to the other. I'm going to open a new transition. Let's try uh, upward motion transition. So I'll double click on it, open the Premiere Pro, Premier Pro Project box. Just wait for it to load. Later. Once it's up and running, very easy. I just do the same thing. I copy these yellow blocks, which are the transition that has been made up for me and I drag them onto my timeline and I line them up as you can see there where this one ends the next one starts and I'm going to do one more I just drag these yellow blocks pop them onto my timeline drag this across so it lines up like that I mean it's really really easy now we just have our videos at the bottom we have our transition blocks in between where the videos start in there and the next one meets and it looks really good and in the end, it looks kind of something like this. I'll just play it for you. One transition into the next. There's a different one. Just smooth, easy transitions, really professional looking, and it's great. So hey, if this video is adding value to your life and it's helping you out, please give me a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel too. I really appreciate it. It'll go a long way in growing my channel. And that's it. Really simple, really, really easy. I can't believe how easy and how great some of these transitions are, some of these templates. You can go check them out, mixkit.co. I have the link in the description uh, for you to check out all the other cool stuff that they have. But that's it from me. Hope you guys have a lack of time. I'll see you around. Peace out.